Hey guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've done my regularly scheduled boring content, but today I have for you not one, but I think three BarkBox unboxings. They have just been sitting here waiting for me. But before that, this is Tiffany Wears t-shirts, and I just wanted to show you one of the many t-shirts that I do have because yes, guys, I do wear t-shirts all the time. This shirt I made a long time ago, and it has my friend Michael Malloy. I'm gonna leave a link down to his channel in my description. If you wanna check him out, he does live streams. And <laughs> there's a story that goes along with this. Basically, this is Michael Malloy's reaction to seeing another chatter named Haggis in um, inappropriate outfits and naked. Um, so what is he looking at, right? I can't actually show you the actual things he was looking at. So this is what kind of gives you an idea. I don't know if you're, I'm on frame or not, of what Michael was looking at. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, I make t-shirts. Yes, I do. Every once in a while. Anyways, enough about my t-shirts. Let's get into the bark box. First one I have here. I am not sure if this is a bark box or if it's extras that I ordered. I don't remember. So let's get into it. If you guys don't know, bark box is a monthly subscription for your dog. They give you toys and treats and they're pretty customizable. For a while, my Chihuahua, before I had my Mastiff, he doesn't like those treats that bark box has but they have an option where you can do just toys or just treats, which is really nice. Their toys are always cute, by the way. Okay, so in here, we've got, yes, we've got a bark box and some extras. So a shadow, my master, is paying attention. <laughs> so let's get into this bark box first. This is July's bark box. Let's go ahead and open it up. Hold on to your mutts. <laughs> You think something in here is for you? It's all for you guys. It's all about you guys today. And every day, pretty much. Okay, so what do we have? Looks like a summer theme. They always have a theme box. And when you open it up, it looks like there's a, like a lake house. And so I did order the large dog. So they're gonna be larger toys, which is fine. Titus can play with, Titus is also looking. <laughs> Titus can play with these too. The first toy I see is like a tube, a raft. It says ultimate high stakes, big shakes. It has a squeaker, crinkle, it has a couple squeakers and um, like a handle. They usually do tell you on these things what's inside the toy. So uh, shadow, hang on. So we've got like, uh, what does it say? Squeaker, crinkle and a tug strap. Yep. So what do you think shadow? Do you want to give a, us your opinion since you're here? What do you think? Do you want it? Okay, can I take the tag off? Here, you can have it if you want it. There you go. All right. Titus is down here asking me, like, what the hell? <laughs> Next, we have a fish. This is cute. Oh, what the? What? Um, so this is Big Squeak Bass and it has squeaker crinkle treat trap pose and play what is pose and play what does that mean um, someone is actually paying close attention to this um i'm not entirely sure what the pose and play means but this is the treat trap i imagine Wait, what is there something in there no it's just a squeaker so there's that cute I'm sure they'll get a lot of fun. This just, it's a little bit, I don't know <laughs> what you think. Anyways, I'm gonna throw this one to Titus. Here you go, bud. And so each box comes with two toys and two bags of treats. So in here we have, okay, okay, Shadow, I know it's exciting times, but you have to, you have to wait. Can you sit? Can you sit, okay. So this is Clucky Turkey Trainer Chicken Recipe. Uh, this one is Cheesy Peasy Soft Bakes Cheese Recipe. And it looks like they threw us a little extra. This is Clucky Nuggy Yum Soft Baked Dog Treats. Titus won't eat these, but he's looking. So we can offer it to him and, and see what he thinks. Let's try these since these were the, um, the, the added little 
something something. Shadow hardly ever. You have eyeball bees, honey. Shadow hardly ever turns down anything. She she can be picky, but for the most part, when it's a dog treat, she'll eat it. So this is what they look like. Is it like a little? Oh my gosh, my I just painted my nails. Look at. I don't know why I bother. What's it supposed to look like? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Anyways, here. What do you think? Are they good? But the rest of the box, let's get to that. I guess these are things I ordered at some point. Um, so uh, this says Barkwag Harbor, and this was more geared towards Titus because I ordered the extra small to smalls, even though Shadow thinks everything is hers and she'll play with any size toy. But this is cute. Um, what's it supposed to be? It looks like a lemon, a little cup of something. It says squeeze me. Or crinkle and sleep. Uh, what are these supposed to be though? I don't understand. Are they flippers? I, I don't... Packed with fluff? I don't know. It just doesn't matter. I mean, the dogs don't care. They'll play with anything, right? Then we've got this guy, the Great Outdoors Toxic Tony. This is a little snicker snake. Danger Noodle. Yes, yeah, you can't have all of them. This is what you said you wanted. Remember? <laughs> Go play with that. That. And I also got them a sloth. The reason I chose this toy in particular is because my little Chihuahua Titus, he. No. He loves the furry things, so I'm always looking for textures that I know that he'll appreciate. It's on a rope. And it has a different kind of a squeaker in there. <laughs> and then I did get them, um, I got each of them something to chew on. Now, normally Titus doesn't chew on these things, the Chihuahua, but Shadow does. And the braided bully sticks last the longest. So I got her this and I'm just going to go ahead and give it to her. They didn't eat yet. This is a, oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. This is not a bully stick. A bully stick is a beef tendon from a, do, uh, a cow's penis. This is a collagen stick, a uh, slightly different, but they really like these. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to Shadow. Shadow, do you want this, honey? Here you go. All right, go take it. Go, go lay down. The other thing I got is another collagen chew for Titus. Shadow wants to help. <laughs> Shadow, you're not help. Oh, Titus, Titus made his way up here. Shadow, move your head. There's Titus. Shadow. Shadow, move your head, honey. We can't see Titus because of your big head. <laughs> there he is. Okay. So this box theme is walkies in the Andes and there's a alpaca. Um, okay. So what is this? A taper? What is this? Look at this little guy. If I was an animal, this is what I would be. Cause look, we have the same nose. Like, look at that. That's, that's, that's about it. You're my spirit animal. Yes, it is a tapir. Have you guys ever seen a tapir before? They are the coolest things. They are actually related to elephants. Get away from me. And um, they're rainforest, I believe, right? Isn't that it? The rainforest. If you pet them, they actually secrete an oil that helps keep them dry because their environment is so wet. Anyways, nobody cares. Um, so in this toy, let's see what we have. Oh, this one actually, this actually has a little fact, fun fact on here. It says, did Chew know? I don't have my glasses on. I should put them on. Um, Tapirs, often called living fossils, have changed very little over the past 20 million years. The same cannot be said for wolves. Happy birthday, Mr. Pooper Duper Puppernickel. We, we could just eat those stinky toe beans right up. What? That is, I don't know what that is in reference to or what it means. What does it have to do with wolves? I don't know, but okay. Um, so this animal hasn't changed much over the years because it's perfect just the way it is, I guess. And Shadow found the fish. Go get that one. Um, next we have, oh, this is pretty cool. This is a condor. Um, wait, <laughs> crinkle and, no, you sit. Shadow sit, wait. 
Now look, look, little Mr. Opportunist here. <laughs> Titus is like, it's my time to shine. Where's my shit? Um, so this is a cute little toy. And this is considered a large toy. What does it say on the inside? Let's see, there, the Andean condor is one of the largest flying birds in the world with a wingspan of up to 10 and a half feet. Sadly, with no humans around, they may never know if this is a big stretch. Who writes this? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Here, fish, go get it. Um, the, oh, yay, we got an alpaca. And uh, what I really like about the alpaca is the fur texture because like I said, my chihuahua has preferences on things that he likes to play with. And look at this little face. Is there a nice little fact here? Yes. Llam oh, this is a llama, not an alpaca, my mistake. Llamas, m wait, wait. La you're, no, llamas must regulate and... Llamas must regurgitate shadow. No, leave it, leave it, sit. You have to wait, guys. I know it's exciting times. Llamas must regurgitate and reach you their food to fully digest it, leading dogs around the world to ask, hey, buddy, you finished with that? The interesting thing about a, a llama is that they spit. And the spit is basically their cud and it comes from their stomach and it's disgusting. It smells awful. And I know because I went to a petting zoo once and one of them came up to me and spit right in my hair, which wasn't a good time. Um, and it stank really bad. I had to go home and shower immediately. It was not a good time. Uh, but I don't think we have to worry about this little guy. The last toy in this one is what looks to be a chinchilla. Yep. It's a chinchilla and let's see, um, what does it say about chinchillas? I know that you can't get them wet. They're like gremlins. <coughs> Dude, you wanna go in your crate? Go, <coughs> go lay down. In order to stay clean, chinchillas take regular dust baths in fine volcanic ash. Your dog, meanwhile, is not quite as picky with where they take their dust baths. Okay. The rest of this box actually has four bags of treats. I think that's because I had to renew the subscription. I had an issue with the subscription process, and so they gave me double treats. So we have Fuddy Nutty's Crunchy Treats. We have Wakey Bakey Loops, Bacon and Cheese Recipe. We have Baba Tricky Jerky Bars Lamb. We have Porky Soft Bakes. We're gonna have a lot of treats here, wow. And Fruity Booties, uh, Fruity Booties, Soft Baked Mixed Berries. That is everything in this box. Oh, so for some reason, we got two of this. I don't know why, I don't remember being charged for that. This one, only it has the alpaca, or the llama again, and it also has the condor, no chinchilla. It has the Porky Soft Bakes, the Fruity Booties, or no, I'm sorry, the Fuddy Nutties, and then this little extra Bada Bing Bada Beef, beef sprinkles to add a little boom to every bite. So this is a food topper that you can put on top of your dog's food, give a little pizzazz. What's it made out of? I'm curious. Beef, rosemary, and extract. All right, so that's all I have for BarkBox, and let me just show you Actually, I can't show you everything because the dogs took most of it, but <laughs> we got the toys here. Let's, let's see. Let me go and grab everything so I can show you everything that we have now. I did a bark box not long ago, a couple months ago. They still do have some of the toys from that box. Like these toys do last sometimes. The problem is sometimes they drag them outside and they get ruined from the rain and stuff, but I try to keep them inside. Okay, so we have a big ass box of toys here. We've got the chinchilla, the snake, the condor, the, uh, the llama, the other llama, the tube of fun, the, another condor, whatever these are, um, a tapir, the fish, and the sloth. And then as far as treats go, which Titus will not probably eat any of these. 
but I can use these for training Shadow um, and some other things. We've got the Porky Soft Bakes, another Porky Soft Bakes, Baba Jerky Treats, Fuddy Nutties, more Fuddy Nutties, Bakey Bakey Loops, Fruity Booties, Cheesy Peasies, Clucky Tricky Training Treats, these little cookies. Titus, would you like to try one since you're here? I don't know. What do you think? As I thought. Here, Shadow, do you want it? You can have it. Yep. And uh, the food topper and then the two collagen sticks that I'm going to give them at a later time. That's all the bark box stuff I have. But there's also one other thing I want to show you. Let me just put this stuff away real quick. The other thing I have is actually from Timu. I need dog steps badly. Titus is turning into a senior dog in September, which is sad. Oh, he's getting old. And he's little and he jumps too much up from high places like the couch and the bed. And I've tried different steps in the past. Nothing has really worked. I found these on Timu and I thought I would try it. Um, what I liked is that they're they're not plastic with a piece of cardboard or, or shadow. They're not just like plastic framing with a piece of fabric over it. This is what I believe completely foam or something like that. I don't know. Let's open it and see. Okay. All right. So it's a one piece of foam and I think it goes like this in the picture this was a little bit more curved and then there is something that you put over it Let's see if I can figure it out okay I messed with putting this cover on for a hot minute and I still didn't get it on right but I'm pretty sure it goes like this and then it zips up in the back um, and the texture is to give your dog kind of like something to grab onto and it goes like this so I will, um, I will eventually figure out how to put the cover on and I will also give you an update on whether or not my dog will use it because that has been an ongoing problem for about seven years. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and my dogs and all the crazy things I do for them. They're very spoiled as much as the dog can be, I think. I love them so much. They're my babies. And um, thanks for hanging out with us and I, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.